Hello everyone and welcome to the fourth part of this tutorial series and in this one I'll be showing you how to build this trending page. So the trending page is going to have this top view over here which is going to be scrolling horizontally. So let's head over and start building this page. So but the first thing I want to show you is that if you see from this view this icon in the detail view is the wrong icon. So let's go um, correct that in the video detail view. Let's head over to video info column and change this stuff. So instead of more vertical, it should be arrow drop down. So it changes the arrow to the drop down arrow. Yeah. So the next thing is also this view this screen has an autoplay text which we did not add so let's just go add this autoplay text over here info and in after the up next to add a new text and put um autoplay so after we do that to save it comes in the middle so to solve this stuff to push it to this side would be to just wrap this up next text in an extended widget since the parent widget is a row so we'll wrap it in a new widget called expanded so we save so it pushes it to the right so like I explained before the autoplay and this switch takes their original size while the up next text takes up the remaining space due to the expanded widgets. I've explained this in the previous video. So yeah, let's continue and head over to our screens. And when you head over to screen, create a new file called trending.dat because we want to create the trended page right now. So let's head over to trending. So currently, let's open up trending.dat. You can see it's an empty dat file. So currently, in YouTube main, we're just passing in a chat, um, a text to just display this stuff. So now let's create our trending page. Stateless widget and we'll name it trending screen. Cool. Then we import the material package. Cool. So the next thing would be to just create a list view. And the reason why is this from this screenshot. everything is going to be scrollable so the first everything in this page is going to be scrollable that is why i'm putting it in a list view so we we'll create a list view and we pass in the children uh, let's create this second section which is this place first of all before we create this horizontal scrolling scrolling view so i'll pass in video list then let's import the video list class So we've imported that, then we'll pass in the list data. And this list data is going to be YouTube data. So let's import that too. And we'll save. So to update this, let's head over to the home YouTube main dot that file and pass in the home screen here. So we'll replace the text with the new widgets we just created. Trending screen and we import it so we save and let's see okay cool so it's currently working so the next thing to do would be to create a new container above this so in a real life application this trending would be gotten from an API with probably a select statement like select all videos where trending equals to true and it should give you a different list, a playlist. So but this is just dummy data so we're still using the same YouTube data. So let's create a container of heights 100 dp. Cool. So we'll pass a child of text for, for now and let's just just to display. 
code is showing. So the next thing to do would be to um, create a list of button. And if you can see from this, this list of button is a little, it's similar to this list of button here. So what I'll do would be to just copy and paste the code from the previous section. So we'll head over to video detail that and we scroll to the button column. So for now we are copying and pasting. I'll inform you on what to do on how to make this reusable. In fact, that is going to be an assignment for those of you watching. So I'll just copy and paste this first of all and over here in the container we'll just create a new um, list view instead of a text. So we'll create list view and the children would be build button column. So the first icon would be icons dot um, music notes and the text would be music I guess. Let's save that and see. So music, live gaming, news, films. Okay, so we have this, so everything is working. So let's just duplicate this five times and change the next one to live, live TV. Next one should be gaming. Video game asset. Next one should be, let's see, news and films, news and films, so local movies, the news should be insert drive file, let's see how they look. System is quite slow today. So you can see the scroll view is working. So we want to make this a horizontal scroll view, so it's quite simple. We head over to the list view and just put scroll direction and we'll make it um, axis that horizontal. So it's going to be scrolling on the horizontal axis. Cool, this is looking nice. So the next thing to do would be to um, head back to this build button column and let's give the container a width and height. Width of 50 just to give more room for the icons and height of 50 dp. So let's save that and see. Cool. So now the next thing would be to change the color of the icon to be white. And let's give the container um, some decoration. So I want to change the color of the um, background of the container so I'll give it a box decoration remember this container is for the icon so the text is a separate stuff inside the column so for the box decoration I'll give it a color of um, color from RGBO that is red green blue and opacity so I'll give it a black color so I'll pass in zero for the three color fields then the opacity I'll pass it 0 0.7 to give it a little um, like a dark gray effect. Okay, so the next thing would be to also pass um, to also give it a shape of box shape that circle. System is quite slow today. I would have to restart it. So you give it a box shape of circle, and you can see the circular effects it has. So the next thing would be to also um, give the icon a size of um, 30 dp. Cool. And we give um, this column, let's see, space evenly, let's main axis alignment space evenly and let's see how that looks okay cool 
and the next thing to do would be to um, let's give it let's give it a padding let's, so let's wrap this entire column in a padding let's give it a pattern of 8 dp and see how that comes together cool so this is looking nice you can see the whole icons and everything is looking quite nice oops so yeah so this is looking good so everything is falling in place so um let me just give this column more padding to see how it looks let's check from this no I'll leave it as at eight okay so this is looking good so the next thing would be the next thing would be to because I made this stuff I added this whole list in a list view so you might be asking like okay it's not scrolling and the reason is because of the number of items is less than the screen device width so yeah, I could just demonstrate that by duplicating just two of them to show you that it's actually scrolling horizontally so if you see over here it's actually scrolling horizontally so I would delete that and leave it that way so let's also check if it is looking nice in the landscape mode and you can see it's also looking nice in the landscape mode and that is the beauty of having a reusable widget just like this video list you can see how we easily reused it for this page without having to code it again from scratch so this is actually looking nice okay so oh 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 okay so the next thing i would want you guys to do would be to if you use the youtube application you see that the trending screen and the subscription screen are quite similar the only difference between the trending and a subscription screen is that the subscription screen doesn't use an icon it uses um, an image more of like a circular avatar and you can also see the relationship between this trending this up I this um, top section that has an icon and a text and also this section that has an icon and a text so the assignment I would want you guys to try out would be to go create a new widget that would be able to create this stuff for you so instead of having a build um, button column function like this I want you guys to take the functionality into a separate widget so that whenever you create a widget um, probably you could name it um, button column or icon column or something or icon text column or whatever that you could just pass in the icon and the text and it autom automatically lays, out, lays it out for you in the column with the column um, design and also you could also have a property like background color and if you pass in a background color it should also give a background color just like this so i've taught you guys the basic concept and i believe you guys would be able to just try it out to see if you can create a stateless widget just like how we did for the video list widgets you saw you can see how we just use it and reuse it easily yeah so you guys can have a um column text or some or button text or icon text widgets or whatever you name it and you could pass the icon the text and also the background color and it will be able, it will be able to like style it based on the constructor arguments you pass so that would be um, an assignment for you guys so you guys should just try it out and probably i could take any one of you you guys own i like and implement it here but i don't think i'm going to impl implement the subscription page because it is similar with the trending page so i think um we've achieved what we wanted in this video so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one